Hello students, welcome to Pramati Hillview Academy Digital Class. Today, in this class, I am going to take up another beautiful poem, Wind, written by Subramanya Bharati in Tamil and translated by A.K. Ramanujan. Dear students, we all know that wind is a natural phenomenon. In this poem, the poet talks to the wind. The power of wind has been described and the poet says that wind is destructive. He has linked the destructive power of wind to the adversities of life and says that the weak people break down. But stronger people emerge of adversities and they get stronger and stronger. The poem gives an important message that we should be mentally tough and physically strong in order to survive the hardships of life. A weak person breaks down like a weak building and crumbles, according to the poet. He says, we must make destructive forces our friends with our strength and determination. Let's move on to the description part of the poem, students. Wind comes softly. Don't break the shutters of the windows. Don't scatter the papers. Don't throw down the books on the shelf. There, look what you did. You threw them all down. You tore the pages of the books. You brought rain again. You are very clever at poking fun at weaklings. Wind, come softly. Don't break the shutters of the windows. Don't scatter the papers. Don't throw down the books on the shelf. In these four lines, the poet is talking to wind. He does ask the wind to come softly. So he is saying that wind should not be very strong and loud. According to him, it should be soft and subtle. Then he says that the wind is very powerful and it is destructive and it breaks the shutters of windows and scatters the papers. When the wind is very powerful, all the books which are kept on the shelf fall down, according to the poet. So here the poet is describing the power of the wind. Look. What you did, you threw them all down, you tore the pages of the books, you brought rain again. You are very clever at poking fun at weaklings. Now the poet says to the wind to look at the destruction it has done. The poet accuses the wind that it is, tra it is tearing the pages of the books and blames the wind for bringing the rain once again. He tells the wind that it always makes fun of weak people and also weak things. Frail crumbling houses, crumbling doors, crumbling rafters, crumbling wood, crumbling bodies, crumbling lives, crumbling hearts. In this paragraph, you may have seen crumbling being used a lot by the poet. Here, the word crumbling is repeated so many times to lay stress that everything crumbles in the face of a strong wind. So the writer is saying that when wind is very powerful, it is very strong and it leads to breakage of everything. Houses which are weak, they fall. Doors which are weak, they fall. The beams on which the roof of the buildings are supported, they also fall. All the wooden structures fall, all the bodies of people and animals fall. So he is saying that everything crumbles. Everything that is weak reacts by falling down and breaking in the face of adversity. So the poet is saying that whenever a weak person faces the adversity or challenge in his own life, he breaks down and falls. The wind god winnows and crushes them all. In these two lines, the poet is addressing wind as wind god and he is saying that the powerful god of wind, Vinos, that means he shifts all the people and those people who are weak, they fall down and they get crushed. So here, a comparison is made between wheat and people. Just like we know the wheat to separate the grain from chaff, the wind god separates the strong people from the weak people and when there is a strong wind, all the things that are weak fall and get crushed. He won't do what you tell him. So, come, let's build strong homes. Let's join the doors firmly. Practice to firm the body. Make the heart steadfast. Do this. 
and the wind will be friends with us. In this paragraph, the poet says, he wants us to make friends with the wind, that is, the adversities in our lives. He says that the problems will not listen to us, they will come, so we should be prepared. In preparation, we should build strong homes and close the doors of our house firmly, so that the wind cannot get into. And then he says that we should also make our bodies strong and hearts firm to face these challenges. And then, once we are strong enough, all the challenges will be like our friends. We will not feel that they are troublesome. The wind blows out weak fires. He makes strong fires roar and flourish. His friendship is good. We praise him every day. In this particular paragraph, the poet has kept the wind on a pedestal. He is comparing the wind to God. He says that wind is God and we praise wind every day. He adds that everything that is weak gets finished off in the face of the strong wind. And all things that are strong, they flourish and they grow to become stronger. He is giving us a very important message in our life that we should not feel bad that we are facing so many challenges and adversities in life. We should make ourselves physically and mentally strong to face these challenges. And once we are strong enough, we will overcome the challenges, we will become friends with them. And then we will be happy that we had these challenges in our life because they help us to become stronger and better. Dear students, we have come to an end of the poem, Wind. The poet talks about the destructive and constructive aspects of the wind in this poem and he also says when the strong wind blows it can cause a lot of destruction but only the weak things in its path gets destroyed. The wind is used as a metaphor to describe the problems we face in life. I hope you all have understood this poem really well. Thank you students.